Hi, Dawn sends Lamenti with word of a new national push to hopefully save some 80 children who die of heat stroke every year when left unattended in a hot car. Today we're going to use my minivan and this thermometer to show you just how quickly your car turns into an oven. A crying baby, uh, comforted know. by a policeman who rescued her, her. forgotten for hours by a caregiver inside a locked, overheated family vehicle. It's a scene happening more frequently, which is why a bipartisan group of lawmakers, including Representative Peter King of New York, recently introduced the Hot Cars Act, legislation requiring cars be equipped with existing smart car technology to alert drivers a passenger remains in the back seat when a car is turned off. The cell phone video, you can hear and see the desperate attempts to break a car window. Just last week in New Jersey, these state troopers rescued a two-year-old boy and a dog from a hot car. Thankfully, a happy ending. But since the early 90s, an estimated 800 children died in locked, sweltering vehicles. Okay, let's check back in on our teddy bear thermometer. We've been timing this in less than 10 minutes. We've gone from 81 degrees to 110 degrees. This is why safety experts say that among non-collision deaths, heat stroke is the number one killer of young children when it comes to being inside a car. I would never leave him. Right, Liam? You never stay in the car on a hot day? To see kind of, you know, parents leave their kids in the car, it's scary, even for a minute. What do you think about somebody who leaves their child or even their dog in a car? It's scary. It's scary to think that they wouldn't leave themselves in a car for that long, let alone, you know, then they leave their children or their dogs in the car. So it really kind of shows their awareness and their lack thereof. Police and security guards tell me public awareness campaigns don't seem to help distracted parents and caregivers. You see this? Because yes, we see this a lot, you know, and people need to be aware of it. Lawmakers now propose existing technology that's standard in some 2017 vehicles should be mandatory. Sensors that buzz and ring if somebody's left in the back seat when the ignition is turned off. If you put it into new cars where it's already included in, um, sure, I, I, I think that it would be okay. Um, I don't believe that it should be grandfathered where you have to purchase something extra. For parents who don't have a brand new car, there are smart car seats, wireless sensors, GPS trackers, and smartphone apps, like Cars for Kids, created by a New Jersey nonprofit. Not even for a minute. Reporting for another thing, Dawn Stenzel and Menti. Up next, Larry's commentary.